Hi everyone, everything you see and hear in this video was shot on a OnePlus 3T. Now there is no purpose to this video, although I'm going to look at different things here. The only purpose is to test the quality of the video and the audio. Now I'm just using the built-in camera application and the built-in microphone. I don't have any lavalier microphone and I'm not using any other external audio source. The only thing that's slightly different about my setup is I have some additional lighting. But if you have some natural sunlight, that's going to be better than these lights anyway. So this is pretty much the kind of experience you can expect to have with the OnePlus 3T. Now the room I'm in at the moment is around 35 degrees Celsius. So excuse me if I, you know, if I look a bit hot. So what I want to do is basically get an idea of like, if I was making videos, like using this camera to make videos for YouTube, how would it come out? Because I have my big camera. This is the one that I use most of the time. This is a Canon HFG 30. Um, pretty good camera, but you know, look how big this is compared to just carrying my cell phone around. So I wanted to test what would it be like if I was to use the OnePlus 3T. So I'm just trying to imagine like let's say I'm holding this power bank and I'm telling you it has a solar panel here, 188,000 milliamp hour, which of course isn't true. Um, and I'm also very curious about the audio, how well you can hear me, the background noise and so on and so on. So let's open up this portable solar panel. So this is a portable solar panel, you can see there's three panels, folds up flat, fold it out and you've got two USB ports here, so you can see the two USB ports in there, so basically you put this out in the sun and then you can use it to charge your cell phone or your uh, tablet or your power bank. Now this is actually an item that was sent to me for review, so I'm going to be making a proper video about that soon. Anyway, I think we've done enough like this. By the way, I'm using the back camera on 4K resolution. Um, let's try point the camera down and see what it would be like getting a close-up or like an overhead view of some kind of gadget. Okay, so this is now a head down video. And of course my voice should be a bit clearer because I'm much closer to the camera now. So hopefully not so much like room echo or something like that. So let's just imagine I was discharging this power bank and I wanted to show you some of the figures on the camera. Um, what I would normally do is hold this and I would increase this and I'd say okay that's around 1.2 amp. have to be careful with my reflections here. It's around 1.2 amp. Let's go up and sometimes what I would do is actually turn on the backlight because that can look better on camera. So yeah I do have to be careful with my reflections because of my video lights but that's the same with any camera. So I actually think that's okay. Um, I'm quite impressed with that. Let me try digital zoom. Now I don't really like digital zoom but let's just try it. Yeah, I mean, that's usable. I could definitely use it and it would save me a little bit of effort in editing. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with that. Let's see what it looks like with some text here. See how it, yeah, handled that very well because I'm bringing in a big white sheet of paper. You can see how it's adjusting the light focus there. Wow, I can't wait to look at this on the computer because here on the phone, it looks really good. So that was just a short video, but I wanted to get an idea of how the OnePlus 3T would do, um, especially if I'm like holding things here and then here, how's the focus? Um, what else could I hold up? I've got like some paper here with some numbers on it. Um, so I just want to get an idea of how it does because I've seen people testing the camera, but they're walking around outside and then as soon as it gets focused, they move to something else, then move to something else not that useful for me personally. I want to know if I can use it for YouTube videos. Um, so yeah. So I just watched back some of the footage and I noticed that the audio is really not very good. There's seems to be two problems. One is a constant hiss, which I'm guessing is some kind of auto gain issue for the microphone. And another thing is my voice. It doesn't have much, I mean, I'm not like an audio expert, but it seems to have lots of like the low end, but not so much at the high end. It almost sounds like when you use um, background noise cancellation and you, you make it too aggressive, it basically cuts out a lot of the voice. That's what it sounds like. So I wanted to add this clip where I'm using a lavalier microphone going into the Zoom H1 and then I record the audio here and sync it up with a video later. And actually this is what I do for most of my videos even when I'm using my big camera here. Now this camera audio is still like a million times better than what I'm experiencing here on the OnePlus 3T. But whenever you're like too far from a camera, the microphone's always going to struggle. So I do generally use the lavalier microphone, but honestly, I think the onboard microphone should be better. It should at least be usable. Now, I think it will be okay if I'm using it for vlogging, which is primarily what I'll use this phone for is vlogging. Um, well, the camera anyway. 
So because it's closer to your mouth, it doesn't have to set the auto gain so high and hopefully the like background noise cancellation won't be so aggressive. I still have to do some testing, but yeah, the video quality, I looked at that absolutely like great. Even when you zoom in, because it's 4K, it's like really, really clear. So video quality, absolutely like great, but that audio, man, they need to work on that. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, because I would love some suggestions, um, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.